What is up, Rocket Nation, and welcome back for episode number 164 of Elden Ring. In episode number 163, we may have white-knuckled our way a bit through the Brace of the Halig Tree, encountering not one, but two Erd Tree avatars. We did, however, uh, kind of thwart a few attempts at ambushing us. We made it to our first uh, site of grace, essentially, after you get here. And that is where we're going to be picking up from today. Unfortunately, we kind of have to work our way back. And when we work our way back, it's going to be through a couple of enemies that might be my most unfavorite enemies of all in the entire game, the Revenants. So uh, we're going to jump right in, get this underway. As always, if you guys enjoy the episode, make sure you guys give it the old thumbs up. Share it on your favorite social media platform so that others might enjoy it as well. And if you want to be notified when the next episode goes live, all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel, click the little bell notification icon deal thing, and YouTube will take care of the rest. Okay, so we need to get back outside too. Um, I never thought about that. We're going to have the boys... Wow, it's daytime now. Um, we're going to have the boys up top shooting arrows at us. That's not great. Um, can we possibly... Is this dude going to come after us or what? Don't shoot your bow at me. It's not what this is all about. This dude doesn't even know what's happening over there. Really? Okay, uh, that's not going to work for me. Um... Can we get him to come in here? I don't think I can deal with him and his boy at the same time. There you go. Now that's the spirit I'm looking for. Let's do this. Will you get in here? Look at, he's shooting like I'm over there. Bud, here, what if I go way over here? Will that lure him in? He's just going to sit there firing nonstop. God, I hate the AI for this game sometimes. Hulk smash. What? This dude does magic? Oh, yeah, I forgot. We got a partisan in the last episode. Do it again until they're dead. This guy gave us a partisan last time. And now that uh, now that I seen him again and realized that he was using the partisan, it actually dawned on me that uh, I have to read the description for that because I didn't. Also, we got Halig Tree Night Greaves. Uh, let's take a look at those first, I guess. Halig Tree Night Greaves. Um, where are those? Halig, oh, right there. Halig Tree Night Greaves. They're not amazing compared to what we have. Greaves worn by the knight sworn to the Halig Tree. Time has yet to dull their luster. And then the partisan we have to take a look at because we never had one of those before. That is, uh, should be a spear. Where are all the, oh yeah, what am I doing? Sort a uh, order of acquisition. Descending order, please. Thank you very much. Uh, partisan. That is 15 strength, 12 dexterity, descaling in both, 123 base physical damage, unupgraded spear with a wide tip. In addition to its thrusting attacks, this highly versatile weapon can be swung to sweep through foes. Impaling thrust is the skill. Very cool. Um, yeah. All right. So there's that. Um, okay. Here's the weird part. You got these guys up top over there that I'm kind of, uh, yeah, those guys suck butt. I don't know how to get back up there to go get them. So I think we're going to have to run and just try and land over here. This is going to be a, this full pucker. Here we go. Okay. As soon as I land here, I need to call in Rot Dog. Um, Rot Dog, go. Now you can see the ground right here in front of us is smoking. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, don't see us. Please don't see us. Can we just crouch? Pretend like we're not here. No, it sees us. It's coming. Oh, him and Rot Dog are fighting. Rot Dog, do work, buddy. You got him. 
Can we just do this? This is what we did last time. Oh no, the other one got... Nope. Nope. Oh! Rot dog, I love you. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh my God. What am I supposed to do now? That's the way we gotta go. I don't see that happening now. Well, we're out of here. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, it's not gonna happen. It's not happening today, nope. We're going to try and go the other way. It's the only thing I can come up with what to do right now. Can we somehow get our butts over here? Not really, huh? Um, let's drink a blue drink real quick. Maybe if we, you know what? We're going to go back across. You can just hear them raging over there too. All right, let's get all the way across. They're still firing at me, by the way. Don't you do it. We got a war pick. We got Lord's sworn, sworn bolts. Oh my God. Are they done firing at me? We need to get on top of this. We need to get on top of this right here above us. Can we? Oh my, what was that from? Was that the dudes with the ballistas that just shot at us again? Okay, so we need to, here, we'll just kill this guy. <gasps> really? Two can play that game. You're dead. Oh, Clean Rot Greaves. Oh, that's almost the entire Clean Rot set now. Let's get this kill here. Okay, we got the kill. Now we can check out the Clean Rot Greaves. Ooh. Clean Rot Greaves. Not horrible versus Pierce. Um, Greaves of the Clean Rot Knights celebrated for their undefeated campaign in the Shattering. The Clean Rot Knights vowed to fight along millennia despite the inevitable, if gradual, putrefication of their flesh their acceptance of their fate is what made the battles the finest of all um okay so we need to get up above where we are now oh we got a haligdry crest surcoat man the items are just pouring in now haligdry crest surcoat armor worn by the soldiers sworn to the haligdry the surcoat bears the crest of the Halig tree, though watered with Mikola's own blood since it was a sapling. Wait, what? Since it was a sapling, the Halig tree ultimately failed to grow into an Erd tree. What? Mikola fed the Halig tree his own blood, watered it with his own blood since it was a sapling. I wonder if there's any significance with that and the fact that Mog, 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 uh, the Lord of Blood is the one that ended up with him. Uh, we're doing this. This is happening. Not okay. Got another clean rot helmet. Take that out. We'll get all of our drinks back. Now, we need to go from here onto this one. And then from here, we can get onto this. Right here. 
And then from here, we can get onto this. And now we take this down along to the top of the other side, and then we can get the sapling. Um, let's just do this. Did we get the... No, we didn't. It's right there. Now, did it give us anything? Wow, it didn't even give us anything. Boo! <laughs> we made our way all the way up here for literally nothing. Why would they put a scarab up here that literally doesn't give you a thing? That was a long fight for absolutely nothing. All right, here we go. We're going to jump out, then do this backwards. Wow, that literally almost killed everyone. Awesome. All right, we're going to have to drink a blue now. Unfortunately, we got to put down a blue. I can still hear... I can still hear the revenants down below losing their mind, by the way. Lord Sworn Bolts. Okay, at least now we can drop down and we don't have to worry about them shooting us. And now we have options. Oh, good God. Where's the other one at? Did the other one go back to his own patrol? If the other one went back to his own patrol, I'm willing to go down and give this a try. I think I'm going to die, but I'm willing to give it a shot. It won't let me call in the rot dog. Oh, that's half damage. Oh. You son of a. We got it. Drink. There's the other one right there. Oh my God. Another one. Do it again. We got him. Oh, I hate these things. I hate those things. Okay, that's good. Now, uh, this is as far as we made it the last time we came down here. Just because we did not have enough health to proceed forward. Now we got six blues, six reds. And uh, we got a few of these enemies to deal with. So let's lure this one out here a little bit like we did before. You know what? Can we just smash it? I miss, oh no. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna unlock and get outside real fast here. And uh, we're gonna get a drink in. That's kind of the same thing that happened last time to us. We were all good and then uh, we essentially missed an attack and that costed us dearly. I didn't mean to do that. Darn it. Come on, get out here. It tried to throw it around the corner. What are you? Oh, we got it down. Dead. Beautiful. Right, let's back up a little bit. Oh, that was close to missing. I think we got it. Nice. Dead. All right, what is this item? 
Pickled turtleneck? That's what I came in here for was pickled turtleneck? Um. Okay, we got to do it again. I think just a jump attack. Yeah, jump attack and do it. All right, item here, somber smithing stone nine. Boy, I tell you, we haven't made it far at all today, but it has been a, uh, yeah, it's a breathtaking experience, one would say. Um, I don't want to deal with any more revenants, but why do I have a feeling that we are? Like, I feel like this whole hallway here is just going to be filled with them. Uh, we need to drink a blue. We're going through the blues pretty quick now. Why do I hear like, oh, right there in front of us. There's going to be another one right here. I told you. Another one. Oh, we got it. Do it again. We, oh, you can stun lock them. That is a ghost glove wart nine. I could hear it. So we're going to have to make, we're going to have to pay extra close attention. You can actually hear them underground. It almost sounds like a flame, just a roaring flame, like a dull sound of a roaring flame. I just heard one get up. No. Why? Can we get behind it? Again. Yes. Oh, this that skill makes these a hundred times easier to deal with. I will tell you that. Ghost Glove Wart 9. Why are there so many of those here? Please let that be the last one. No more. All right, there's an item here. Um, just go for it. Um, yeah. Ghost Glove Wart 9. Why are there so many? Aeonian Butterfly. We better get a drink in. Because if another one shows up, good lord, no more, please. I don't see any spots or anything on the ground. Um, golden rune 12. Do you want to use a stone sword key? Of course I do. Stupid question. Stone sword key has been lost with use. This looks like a big empty room, doesn't it? Pick up item. Oh, there's a gold item in it. America's sore seal. That is, that's like those other ones we have. Merica's source seal. Uh, greatly raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. This legendary talisman is an eye engraved with an Elden Ring, said to be the seal of Queen Merica. Greatly raises mind, intelligence, faith, and arcane, but also increases damage taken in it by a similar measure. Solemn duty weighs upon the one beholden. Not unlike the gnawing curse from which there is no deliverance. Um, that's a pretty big increase. That's five. Yeah, that is a five increase in all of those. Intelligence, faith, mind, and arcane. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty darn good. Um, nice. I don't know how often I'll be using it, but like I'm tempted to put it on, but the, the extra damage, I don't think I could deal with it right now. Like the extra damage right now is death. <laughs> That's what it is. Extra damage now means I die and I don't want to die. So there's that. Um, all right. So it looks like we got everything, huh? I, I, I'm assuming that we have everything now through this area. I think we might be good to go ahead and fast travel right up to the, uh, to this again, the inner wall. Wait, no, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Nope, yeah, okay, this is the right way. All right, I think we're good to go ahead and proceed forward from here now. 
And bonus, we got... Oh, let's go ahead and hit a level up real quick. We have 215,000 runes to use. Um, this is now going to... You know what? We're going to keep going faith until 60. Faith until 60 right now. Let's go. All right. What is in this place now? We... Oh, anything over here? <gasps> Three of them? Can I, like, get one's attention? Like this? Wow, that did nothing to that one, but we got one's attention. Yeah, come on. You come this way. We'll have fun. Yeah, right up here. Come on. Oh, it's going to be a great time. Look at, look what I can do. <laughs> Get destroyed. Nice. That's, uh, that turned out good. That turned out rather good. I didn't think that was going to go that smooth. All right. Can we target another one? And then just do this again. Yeah, come, come. Come to daddy. Yeah, right this way. Just like your brother. Right this way, butthole. Don't stop. Bet you won't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, look at the rot buildup that one hit caused. We are almost halfway full of rot buildup. And that one is done. Crystallians are some tough enemies, that's for sure. I believe that's the name of them, too. I hope I'm referring to them by what they're actually called and not just, yeah calling them by something random pardon me i'm looking for a chest around here have you seen it oh there it is on the ground behind you yes well that's one way to deal with them and open what is in the chest Rotten Crystal Sword. Okay. Um, Rotten Crystal Sword. That, oh, slight causes slight Scarlet Rot buildup of 50. Requires 13 strength, 10 dexterity, 15 intelligence, descaling and strength and intelligence, 102 physical damage, 66 magic damage, which that's kind of cool. So this causes Scarlet Rot buildup. Does physical and does magic damage. It's sort of like, you know, three different damage types. Um, sword fashioned from pure pure crystal. A deed impossible for a human. It festers with scarlet rot. Un enwreathed by with ma powerful magic, it attacks scales with intelligence. It attacks scales with intelligence. Um, spinning slash. Is this a... Yeah, that's a straight sword. That's cool looking. Almost looks like a dagger, huh? Yeah, that one's BA. I like it. I like it. I like the uh, uniqueness of it, too, causing essentially three different, you know, having three different damage types, essentially. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and sit back down here, get back up, and then we'll proceed forward. That way we haven't used up any of our drinks. All right. Well, good progress so far. Um, I was worried about the whole Revenant part of this. I'm hoping that there's no revenants ahead of us, but I feel like I should probably keep a lookout now because they've kind of introduced it like, here you go. Oh, good Lord. What is this? Oh, good God. No. Um, <laughs> what's over here? Just an item. Heroes Rune 5. Okay. Thank you for that, I guess. Okay, uh, looks like we're going out here in this horrible. This looks very rotty is uh, the best way I, I know how to say it. 
Looks like it's full of rot. Yeah, this looks like the scarlet rot. Oh, that looks like a river. What is down there? Ooh. Look at this area. This is nutty. Um, you know what? Let's grab some of these. Is that what I think it is? Is that one of the... It is. Knock it off. Um, <laughs> I knew it. I, the way it was moving, I was like, is that a plant? No, is that a... That's one of those stupid pest deal things. Oh, there's another one right there. Yeah, get him. Oh, no. This stuff causes the scarlet rot buildup. And I'm... St oh, it doesn't let you run. Oh, no. We're going to get the rot. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's whatever. Got some rot grease. Flame cleanse me. Um, are we... We may end up having to use... You know what? I think we're going to have to. Um, if we can't move through this... Oh, look at There's one right there, too. Ooh... Hmm. Oh, no. Well, that was a mistake. Not what I meant to do. Hey, stupid! Oh, it's just short from hitting it. Can I hit this other one? Yeah, you see me. Come on. You want to fight. Yes, it got it. Nice. Oh, that means we can hit this one. All right. Okay. As long as I ain't got to fight them along the way, uh, I'm okay with this. We'll get the rot, and uh, at some point, we'll just switch off, and we'll... Is that another one right there? Do it. Uh, we're going to have to drink a blue. There's another one. Uh, again. Oh, no. There's another one. And another one. Good Lord. Oh, that another one. Oh, this place sucks. <laughs> Look at how many. Oh, my goodness. They just keep coming. Um, Get out of there. Please get out of there. All right. Drink another blue, I guess. Um, All right. Let's do this. Flame cleanse me. We'll get rid of this. No, oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. That's a waste. Doesn't help you move any faster either if you jump. It actually feels like it might make you move slower. Um, can I please pick up these butterflies that I'm on top of? All right. Oh, there's another one right there. We're just going to take the rot to get this one dead. Another one. Man, oh man. Where are we even supposed to go? <laughs> are we going there to the right, maybe? I don't even know where we're supposed to go here. We got everything in here dead, so... Now it's just dealing with the rod, I guess. I feel like right there is where we're supposed to go. I think we're going to end up having to use the flame cleanse me one more time. Then we're going to have to use another blue drink as well. Okay, so we made it. Oh, boy. Oh, what is it with this game? 
<laughs> Seems like they're looking super comfortable. Let's uh, shake it up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna make them walk across a little tiny plank of wood. Nothing behind us. We're dropping off to this one, it looks like. There's an area over there. <gasps> oh my God, I slid off of that. I did not walk that, I slid. Okay, are we good? I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, item. Um, let's go get the item first, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Always debating, am I about to get ambushed? Am I about to get ambushed? Oh, there's a... Uh, yeah, I think that's one right up on top. Can we just hit it? And it fell down. Oh, it had the glow. It, oh, no. Nope. Mm-mm. Nuh-uh. -mm. Not gonna happen. It had the glowy eyes, too. That sucks. I want to kill it for the uh, for the runes. I want to make it dead for the runes. Oh, you can walk this out across the other way and look at there's an item out there too. Um, let's try and ah, to heck with it. Let's do this. We got that. Okay, so now if we can get over here. All right, we didn't hit any any Scarlet Rot buildup. Now we just have to brave the twig again. You never know how this thing's going to react. We may just slide off to our death. You know what? I'm going to jump. I feel like a jump is safer than a walk there. Okay, um, so do we go across? Let's see what's this way first. I feel like we got to be getting close to a, uh, to a site of grace or something, right? There has to be. They can't continue to bring us like this. This is, this is insane. Oh, is that boss fog? Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yep. Sure. You bet I will. <laughs> definitely we're gonna sit down right here and uh i think that is actually where we're gonna end this episode so next episode we're gonna go back up we'll cross over we'll see what's on the other side of that little platform over there hopefully we don't just slide off to our death um also it looks like this might be okay that isn't boss fog what is this out here okay interesting so we're gonna go explore this area as well um, this whole place is terrifying, uh, and I love it for that. Also, this summoning pool is now functional. But thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another episode of Elden Ring. As always, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Share it on your favorite social media platform so that others might enjoy it as well. And if you want to be notified when the next episode goes live, all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel, click the little bell notification icon deal thing, and YouTube will take care of the rest. Thank you all so much. And as always, remember, life is short. Pause save. And I will see you in the next episode.